Um, let's talk about Joe Rogan now. Oh, with yeah. With his, uh, gramp- his grandpa Instagram shit posts. Yeah, this was a weird take by Joe. If you need any more evidence that he's completely fallen, here's all you need to see. Um, uh, here he posted this. So on the top you have authoritarian on the on the right, libertarian on the bottom left. So strongmen would be you know Nazis. Yeah, yeah, that's what he. I I I don't think Joe Rogan understands the graph. Like I don't think he's like hey hey I'm gonna red pill my audience. Like I'm secretly a Nazi. I think he's a fucking he, he's a gorilla. And he was just like oh this is good. Dude, at what at what point do we stop doing like the ignorance? Uh, no, no, no. He's the impact uh, is is you still know, incredibly. He's not that dumb. Like he knows what this says. Authoritarian, right? Like he knows what that means. It's fucking Nazis. Well, most people don't know what the fuck the political compass meme is unless they're like hyper online. And my entire community is extremely online. So, and I am also. So when I see this, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You're literally promoting. You're basically saying that Nazis are strong men, and the good times are the libertarian right wingers, which you know little too pedophilic for me but you know for my taste but uh maybe that's what they mean by good times and then it breeds weak men and then weak men breed hard times it's a super old trope that the alt-right has routinely used and this is like a classic nazi meme there's like a million different uh, versions of this old like 2016 era nazi memes and he's just like posting them on his on his instagram like an old man. But the imp- the implication, of course, being that anything left is bad. And so you've got weak men and hard times yeah. on the left. And on the right, you've got good, strong men and good times on the right. So, What's he saying here? Like, we're in the, we are in Kali Yuga, the age of conflict. All the chaos we're seeing right now is predicted in Hinduism thousands of years ago. Civilizations move in predictable cycles, and we're in the lower left-hand square of the chart. Do oh, your best. The, yeah, we're in the weak so, man part. So what he's trying to say is... Like, first of all, Joe Rogan would be on the lower left part of that chart, technically. Yeah. I mean, what is he actually doing? You know, uh, you, what are you doing that's hard right now? What are you doing to be the strong man right now, Joe? Elk meat. He's eating elk you're, meat. You're being paid hundreds of millions of dollars by uh, Spotify. You're living in your special little ranch uh in texas you're literally not doing anything for the betterment of society what are you doing that makes you a strong man yeah. other than actually lifting weights yeah he's, he's lifting weights so that that means he's a strong man me on the other hand when i lift weights i'm still a soy boy because i'm a leftist yeah you know what i mean that's how it works like it's not that's why it's just pathetic this whole masculinity thing he's just he's a fucking pathetic fucking moron i think he's he's been criticized so much that he's just i think he's just um how do i say he's lost the plot he's definitely lost the plot, but he's kind of just what's what's the word he's kind of just retracted back and fallen into the people that support him and just surrounding the, himself with the yes men and all the yeah. people so he's just he's surrounded by yeah, you know. the people that give him unconditional support are clout sharks that want to ride the wave 